Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to be covering um, my circuit with the addition of Tesla's patent uh, number 336961. Um, uh, shout out to uh, a couple of people that are doing the research on this particular patent and crossing it with laser sabers, uh, super jewel ringer. Um, there are just some things I, I want to clear up here because, you know, there are statements being made that, um, uh, that you need certain components and that's, not necessarily true and so in this video you'll see that you can do it with other things but I don't want to discourage people from experimenting and coming up with hypotheses and conclusions because we need to investigate all of those things um, so I'm not saying what's being stated has is wrong uh, and this is a perfect time to point out that if you have an alteration to a circuit at all, which this is drastically altered to um, to MTEX. Uh, so I'll put the links down for. But there's some people that are um, that are doing some good work, just doing uh, the research, and whether you're right or wrong is irrelevant. The fact that you commit to everyone's benefit by just doing the research. So I want to encourage people. So, um, you know, like at MTech, doing a great job. I disagree with selling the stuff. Um, this is the reason why we're all poor. This is the reason why we're energy poor. Because this stuff isn't taught in our schools. I understand everyone needs to make money, but at the same time, we need to understand they use that against us. And so we need to band together and give this information freely freely available and make it very clear and transparent. This is not your work. This has been done before. Um, you know, so that patent there, um, I noticed MTech has chosen just one particular winding, uh, which would be number two from what i can tell uh, so you notice there that that one starts in the middle um, this one starts in the middle as well but also goes separate directions like separate uh, like clockwise anti-clockwise type scenarios so um, same with this one this one just starts at one end and both uh, both wires travel the length of the rod but if you notice on my circuit here there's no coil form it's just an air form so why can't you know that's what i'm saying like, you don't have to go buying these special met glass things and um you know and and again i'll remind everyone that if you change one tiny tiny thing then you have built something else and you can't say that, you know, what MTech's doing, for example, isn't accurate or correct um, because you've got something else. That would be like putting two wheels on a vehicle instead of four. It would be a motorbike. Still a vehicle, not a car. So need to remember that. What I'm about to show you here, this is different to what MTech's doing, but I'm using that same patent that's wound on top of my thing uh i will say straight away it does have um it seems to be running my circuit for longer uh, and you know there's there's certain things that are claimed to be elusive like you know that look the the tricks have all been realized before so so these neon bulbs, which I've shown in my other videos, and I'll try to remember to link to those, um, they are an isolation means, a means of passing the electricity through without a direct connection. And the difference is quite huge. If I can 
safely remove um, this one for example and we'll see the spark that's generated by that and let that build up for a couple of seconds and then hit it and then those who are keen on measuring um, velocity of sparks over distance you can do your magic with that right so that would be the difference between so we connect that back to the neon and i'll try and show you what it's like through the neon there's almost no spark um so but that's important because if you go pulling if you go putting that directly onto the battery like i just showed you when i was sparking it that will pull the whole thing out of resonance and then you think it's charging <laughs> it won't be um so those neons nothing special there you don't need to go buying expensive equipment those are really cheap too by the way um so you know grab yourself some of them cold cathode type um again don't bog yourself down if what you've got isn't perfect just try it because you will be surprised nine times out of ten now there are different places to connect um the earths and the response is phenomenal like the different response is huge so that's super super important uh like here for example we've got uh the earth connected to the tesla patent and note that it goes i'll, I'll put the schematics up here because this is it looks like a bit of a shit show so um schematics will be available don't stress yourself but that coil that uh earth line which is earth line number two goes on the coil side of the diodes all right and that i've got run into a capacitor again i'll, I'll put it all up i'm running my two resonant um uh lights light coils um they just operate just in proximity or you can place them near the core that's a little too strong near the core for those leds um everything matters and so this is why i want to encourage people just to do a bit more research because like this light here doesn't shine as bright as this one because this one oh sorry the other way around sorry yeah that one doesn't shine as bright as the first one because um the diode's facing the wrong way well it's not wrong way the other way so it's same coil same winding same direction same capacitor same wire same led just facing a different direction so i want to encourage people to do the the experimentation and i don't want to say anybody's wrong for what they've already claimed because they may very well be right if you used those exact parameters just want to say that it can be done so if you look at mtex i'll put the links down in the description and tech someone else that's doing a really good job with uh, this replication of tesla's patent is um fausto gomes um someone who's also looking into it and you know cross promoting everyone which is great and and that's what my entire channel is about is making sure that you feel comfortable to express your point of view without the ridicule that the establishment would give because you suggest this to your teacher or you suggest it to anyone else in an industry and they'll laugh at you and they'll mock you and at the end of the day look i'm going to say it, they don't know shit they don't know shit the amount of electricians that i've stood in front of and said please explain and they don't know shit 
So, sorry for the aggression, but it, it gets me annoyed that they go around with their egos intact and thinking they know everything and they don't know anything. I stump them all the time. It's just they know what they've been taught. It isn't their fault. And so I don't blame them for that necessarily, but I want to encourage people. So, you know, M-Tech, uh, doing a great job, disagree with selling. Fausto Games, doing a great job, um, you know, nice, clear instructions on how people can do this stuff. Um, Joe Easygo, great job. Guardian Engraving, um, you know, does has some great work. Uh, again, I'll put all the links down the bottom there, but, yeah, there's just some... There, there are some anomalies, and, and I will say that this, um, adding that Tesla patent to my circuit, so again, I'll put my circuit if you want to build that. The reason why I like my circuit over the other one, um, so the one that's the laser saber, is because my circuit seems to be able to run more things. Like, uh, I don't know if we can see here. So I have the, the same... Um, resonant uh, or radiant frequencies, radiant electricity that comes, um, you know, lights up this little thing here. We're gonna, and I put that on any piece of metal in this room, and it lights up nice and bright. So that's a just a little uh, aerial like. Um, radiant energy collector just collects it from the air if you have a, a capacitive plate suspended in the air where my finger is and where i'm touching the metal plate you have an earth and that'll just stay lit up while it's in the presence uh anywhere within about two yeah about two meters and this thing will light up but you know it'll light up just being near the battery um yeah, so, I mean, I could put uh, this is a pair of pliers here and that will be possibly, it's possibly um, attracting some scalar, scalar waves. So, um, so yeah, any piece of metal in the room. There's, there's some other things I want to mention while, I'm, while I've got everyone's attention. Hopefully I've still got your attention. Um is mtech has placed their coil on the aluminium heatsink now in my, in my case i do need the aluminium heatsink um however that's the reason why i've got the spaghetti cables coming out is because it will pull down in certain places it'll pull down on the um magnetic effect uh, aluminium creates a dielectric um uh it, it creates a disturbance in the eddy currents and so whilst that is important to have there um it, it does affect the whole operation for example here uh, so if we watch that light there that's going from the high voltage uh, line of my original coil and that gets fed to earth and then the um, earth line coming back, the secondary earth line attaches to the Tesla coil. But we'll use this as an indicator. I've got this little um, pie UFO <laughs> that I made uh, for my anti-gravity experiments, and it's quite it's quite impressive. It does well as a as a little UFO, but. I'll use it as an example here. So if I was to place that, we'll watch the light. I'll put that up against the bottom of this coil here, and you will see the light dim. Now, I'm not saying you should not have your coil, like in MTEX case, on, um, on, on top of the aluminium heatsink like he's done, but you can clearly see there there's a, a reduction in voltage um, going through that light. And so, but here's the thing. This is why I want people to experiment because you, you can't take that as a, 
well, we'll definitely don't do this because if we take my homemade capacitor, um, which is wound up to fit just perfectly inside there, and we watch that same light, and I'll slide that into place, and we have an increase in brightness. So you probably see more effect from around the light bulb, so like things that the light's cast onto, as I place that in and out, um, more so than the light bulb itself. The camera will, will adjust the brightness of that actual bulb. It's brighter than what it appears on camera there. So again, just placing, see this is aluminium too, but if I place it that way, if I place it that way across the coil, you'll see a reduction. So if I place it inside the coil, you get the increase. This is why I want people to experiment and, and please for everyone else that's watching this, um, your tech, textbooks, cannot explain that please stop trying to ridicule those who are doing important research into this field um i don't agree with just going you know turning into a yes man and just agreeing with everything that everyone says um but instead i would encourage people have a look at this stuff my circuit is freely available um, and, you know, whilst I will take credit for its design, um, it was an accident. So I'm 100% honest here. I wired it up wrong. But it's amazing. It does some amazing things. I've never seen a coil that will attach itself to any coil that I put to it. It, it will just, it'll operate and function any coil that I throw at it. Absolutely every one, which is just confusing on the resonance side because normally you have to make coils match. Uh, whereas this coil of mine, it just doesn't seem to care. Um, and it, I, don't, I don't know how it does it, but it does it. So, all right, well, I might wrap that up. Um, I hope I've remembered everything. Uh, I'm doing some windings at the moment with with that Tesla patent, um, just comparing the difference. You'll notice this one here goes uh, wires going in uh, the same direction. So that's as if you just wound a coil from end to end in the same direction and then just center tapped it. So that's all that is. Um, you know, and I do extra experiments, so I'll run that high voltage line through through a transformer. There, I can show you how you can get DC out of out of this high voltage line that runs through the earth. Um, that's very very easy to do. There's a weird phenomenon too that it it actually it comes out as DC. Uh, you put an LED across. You run that run this high voltage line through this coil, put an LED across the other coil, and it'll only work in one way. So that's almost creating a positive negative, um, a DC structure in that coil. So look, we won't find these things if we just don't build it. This circuit of mine, super super easy to build. Again, I'll put the uh, links for it. Please build it so you can probably discover something faster than me. I've got a serious disability. Uh, I just had another health episode and, um, you know, been down for a couple of days. And then there's this sense of urgency for me. It's like, well, when I'm back on my feet, I need to show people what I know uh, just in case the worst happens. So, um, all right, I'll leave it there. Um, it, it is impressive, I will say that. Uh, oh, one other thing, um, the batteries. Uh, so this is nowhere near as efficient as what MTech has 
stated if you're using sealed lead acid batteries they have a much slower charge rate and they just can't cope with it also the other thing is uh, that you will have a much bigger success running this circuit from capacitors uh, because of that charge issue, the charge rate, it's only using a very small amount of power, 5.86 watts. Um, or oh, that's with the aluminium capacitor in there, so that, that chews a bit more power. And there we go, four, say four watts. Um, you know, and, and that'll run, I've had these two lights just sitting on top of it like that for um uh the whole time the whole time it's been running and it just stays at that 12.78 12.7 um charge so uh and that's that's with also i got down here i try not to get this camera too close because there is a massive field here a radio electric field uh, so there you can see I've got two more of Tesla's patents. Uh, well, sorry, there's one coil, and that's just sitting beside the battery. So that's picking up energy from within the battery. On the other side of the battery, I've got the same coil, and they are connected. You go positive to negative, and they can just be added up. So you can put a whole heap of them around the area, and... Um, just positive, negative, positive, negative. Just string them up like you would a battery. Um, they produce DC. And are currently coming out of those two, one on either side of the battery, no earth connection, nothing else. They are producing 14 volts between the two of them, DC. So, you know, everything helps. Um, I'm not sold on how much that is doing at the moment because... I didn't have those on before and the battery was maintaining its charge. So uh, again, not pulling a load from this, not a big load. Um, and I believe the differences between this using my coil and MTEX coil is most likely nothing more than the batteries those batteries he's using are very expensive but they also have um, a very very rapid recharge rate so in my coil like you put these i've got these other coils um you know i'll try and put the descriptions of them uh on this video as well they're on my other video but uh if i place that just on the battery here we go so my coil will do all those fancy things too, um, but more, most importantly, you don't need to buy expensive shit. Air. There's just air in there. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.